Hi everyone. Good morning. Welcome to Gnan Cloud Garage. In this session, I'm going to talk about DevOps. What is DevOps and DevOps key measurements and benefits. But before going to understand the DevOps definition, we need to understand some fundamental concepts. So which includes what is the evolution of modern applications and where customers need help and what is not DevOps and what is DevOps and what are the DevOps team's key action items and what is DevOps ultimate objective and what are the key DevOps key measurements and finally, what are the benefits of DevOps? Okay, so let's start with the first point. So what is evolution of modern applications? Uh, we already covered in our previous sessions, but uh, quickly recall uh, what is the evaluation of modern applications. So as we are aware in the year 1980 to 1990, around 10 years, the infrastructure is most of the time, all of the organizations running on a on-premises data center, and they are using a application development and packaging directly on a physical servers. That means within our physical server, we are installing the operating system, Windows, Linux, Solaris, or any other operating system. On top of the application operating system, we are installing our business applications. And this is the usual practice in our earlier 1980 to 1990 years. And application architecture, whatever the architecture we have in our physical server, that is considered as a monolithic architecture and this monolithic uh, application also we call it as a monolithic application that means one server running with one application and you can run either within your server we can run the web server application and databases okay and this is the application architecture earlier and later on when you will see into the 2000 to 2009 our on-premises uh, data centers are expanded to host infra and most of the organizations started providing a hosting services and that is nothing but a infrastructure as a service so within that infrastructure as a service the main innovation innovation in this era is we have a virtualization so i give an example of vmware esxi on top of the physical hardware, we can install the ESXi operating system and then we can create a multiple virtual machines. So each virtual machine have guest operating system and applications. So this structure, we call it as multi-tier application architecture. That means every web server, we require separate application VM and application need a separate VM and DB also need a separate VM. And not only limited to three VMs, we can also deploy a N tier, that means multi-tier application architecture and when you see from 2010 to until now uh, during this period the completely the infrastructure is changed to the cloud-based models so within the cloud-based model we have private cloud public cloud hybrid cloud and multi-cloud so we already know private cloud means it's completely dedicated for a some uh, set of organizations only and public cloud means it's open to everyone and everyone can log into the any of the public cloud website like aws azure and google cloud and they can subscribe their virtual machines or virtual instances and if your organization is running with the mixed of private and public that is nothing but a hybrid cloud and if your organization is running with a multiple private cloud or multiple hybrid cloud if you are running more than uh, any of the hybrid cloud with the combination of private and public also consider it as a multi cloud okay this is the uh, infrastructure at present we, uh, most of the organizations are running and in the application deployment wise this is also enhanced evaluated to the containers so nowadays most of the applications are preparing as a package that package is nothing but a portable packages that can be run on on premises private cloud public cloud and so on this is called containers and the containers also we have some advanced concepts like if you want to group the multiple containers we need a pod and to provide a automated and orchestration we need a cluster orchestration technologies kubernetes and this architecture we consider it as a microservices architecture and now when it comes to the development practice when you see in our earlier the development practice model is called it as waterfall model and within this waterfall model if you want to provision an application from a provision and initial provision and releasing to the production normally it will takes weeks to months time 
that is in the earlier days but after in the second era of the host based infra or infrastructure as a service era during that multi tier application architecture this model is revised and changed to the agile development practice during the agile development practice what the uh, evaluation development in this model is the, the application software development release it may take weeks to uh, within the days to weeks only but in our previous one weeks to months that instead of doing the months to times to release the application to production where, when comes to the agile methodology it is taking from days to weeks time but when comes to the latest one which is the current scenario cloud based models the application development practice model is again revised from the agile method and it is revised to the devops methodology okay so development and operations so as a operational team or as a developer engineer development engineer or developer or developer architect also we should have an idea on this development practice which is devops okay so in this session i'm going to focus on the devops and if you see in our latest architectures all are running on microservices architecture and the, the software development release practice is devops and also we have a containers and cloud based models even when you contact any of the customers or if you are having a, a, a customer engagements or customer conversations most of the time customer need help on this latest era that means the customers may expect the some of the questions on cloud infrastructure some of the questions on container based and some of the on your latest architecture microservices architecture and some may they also want to uh, they may expect the some trust advice on a software development practice which is devops methodology okay so this point i will also explain in the next slide so where customers need help so most of the customers need help help in a mainly for three scenarios the as i mentioned the first one is application transformation the modern application is already application definition is changed architecture also changed from monolithic to tier based architecture tier based to microservices architecture so that point only i highlighted here so apps architecture is changing that is microservices and also all are based on the apis only and the cloud native this cloud native is one of the most commonly used this term cloud native i will explain separately the cloud native architecture in the next session and the data patterns and the, within this uh, apps architecture is changing that is nothing but a get your new ideas in a code code so that means infrastructure as a code and another scenario to we customers asking a help is mainly devops so advanced to the devops is dev security operations so devops devsecops also another key com, key concept we have to learn and platforms and best practices to get the code into the production faster and more secure and here the get the code into the how how fast we are getting the code infrastructure as a code into the production and another scenario for customers need help is cloud transformation so cloud infrastructure tra transformation this cloud infrastructure as we know we are the most of the organizations are moving from on premises to private private to public or they are using a either mixed hybrid environment or multi cloud environments so common control plane for containers across data centers edge and public clouds so create a developer ready infrastructure one example is we have to use a enterprise grade kubernetes platforms or we can also call it as cloud native platform architecture so cloud native platform architectures means we require a kubernetes enterprise grade kubernetes which includes we can use vmware vsphere thanju or if you want to use a red hat openshift or we can use suzy rancher if you are considering in a public cloud environment we may use is eks elastic kubernetes service and aks azure kubernetes service and google kubernetes engine these are all the comes under the enterprise grade kubernetes platforms so most of the customer conversation these days all are looking for a kubernetes platforms only okay so but uh, you know before deep dive into the all the Kuber enterprise grade kubernetes platform we need to understand the development process which is the devops okay and before going to understand devops definition we we should know what is not devops okay so most of the time we may have little confusion of devops so i let give a quick clarity on few common questions so is devops is a uh, devops a single product 
definitely the answer is no it's not a single product and another question is is devops a bunch of tools so normally when you see a devops images you know on the internet there will be a so many tools set of tools are showing but uh, someone may ask is the devops a bunch of tools definitely answer is no and is devops a job role so devops is not a job role devops job roles are like devops architect devops engineer those are the job roles but devops within the dev direct devops is not a job role so the answer is no and is devops just agile 2.0 just now we verified the evolution of application modern applications earlier we have a application architecture is monolithic architecture during the monolithic architecture we call it as a waterfall model and when it comes to the second era we have a agile method but in the latest era it's not a agile 2.0 it is a devops model only so devops is nothing but a it's a set of best practices methodology okay so for this question also answer is no so now it's the time to talk about what is devops development operations so devops so the quick point here is is a devops is a set of practices the answer is yes okay set of practices so here the keyword is practice and another keyword another question is is devops a set of principles for software delivery so answer is yes so it have a set of principles and is devops a cultural change or collaboration of cross functional teams and not just development and operation security and not only the development team and operation team it is also includes the other teams like security ops and test quality testing team and also the business team business uh, business intelligence or business consultants teams okay answer is yes and another key point is the devops focus of it teams delivering value to the business faster exactly that is a devops main fo key functionality okay so now let before go, dive into the devops definition uh, let me uh, uh, quickly recall the practice uh, one famous quote from bruce lee uh, as we are aware practice makes perfect and after a long time of practicing our work will become natural skillful swift swift and steady so same thing is applicable for devops methodology so it will helpful to enhance our operations effectively efficiently and optimized way with this best practices okay so now we can talk about what is devops definition and before definition also let me give you one quick example let's say we have a development team and operations team in our earlier days the development team and ops team is works independently like a siloed environment and they will not work together or they are not integrated each other but in the latest methodology what it is both the teams are integrated okay they are working together okay so dev team and ops team is work started working together in the latest era cloud based models and microservices architecture that is nothing but a devops okay so in the in general the description of devops is a set of practices that combines software development so software development and information technology operations team so which aims to shorten the software development life cycle and provide continuous delivery with high software quality so this is the as per the wikipedia and official uh, public cloud and private cloud articles this is official definition of devops so i repeat a set of practices that combines the two teams dev team and ops team they are completely uh, working together okay so that is called devops only okay and if you just quickly recall our school day short story unity is strength even the devops also we can compare with that short story normally if you are working like a siloed environment develop team team separately and operation team separately it can be there will be a there will be so many technical glitches and it will be kind of vulnerable only and even if you want to in this diagram the bundle of sticks if you have one stick it's easy to break it and if you have a bundle of sticks definitely it's not easy to break it so unity is strength so same way in our development and operation teams also if you are working independently and siloed manner it's not a useful for our business it infrastructure so the best practice is we should work together to achieve more okay so that is only the devops software development practice okay 
hope you understand the this uh, definition of what is devops now let's talk about what are the devops teams key action items so even within the devops teams there is a devops life cycle so this diagram shows about the devops cycle so most of the time it categorized into the eight categories it's starting from plan normally initially in our earlier classes we talk about it infrastructure have a mainly day zero that means initial design day zero means planning and day, day day zero we can say planning and design and day one is nothing but a implement and day two means operations and day n is nothing but a it's kind of reclamation or life cycle management so similarly even in our software life cycle management the devops also have a few categories similar when you compare with the day zero day one and day two normally in the day zero we should start with a initial idea of plan and then we prepare the code and we can build the specific code and we also we can test it once the test is success we can release it to the production so once it is released to the production the day to operation team is coming to picture they will take care of deploy and operate and also the monitor so this is the complete life cycle and this is in detail definitions and all i will cover in the later session okay so just understand the high level overview of key action items in this session so let's compare match with the day zero day one and day two the software life cycle management in the cloud age so day zero mainly planning and design and day one is mainly for a continuous integration and it's like a deployment starts that means employment implementation also starts and in the day two we have it's a completely a repetitive activities it includes this continuous development and continuous delivery and operations also will start in a day two and because once it is delivered to the day two team day two team will start the operations and the customer service it's always like a continuous cycle observe orient decide and act and it will be like a, if there is any of the issues and all the feedback will be loop and it will be repeated to the again to the development team so these two teams working together continuously until the product is released successfully to the end user okay and in detail the diagram and procedure steps again i will cover in the next session just here try to understand the overview okay and what are the devops teams key action item so just now we got an idea of devops definition so earlier we have devops team separate operation team separate but now both teams are working together and it is like a continuous integration and also the continuous operations but here if you see in this diagram this when the two teams are combined this the icon is like a infinity symbol normally in a, in a mathematics or generally infinity means it's never ends it's completely a continuous integration continuous development and continuous delivery it's a complete cyclic process so it's never end and normally it will start from plan and it will end at the monitor stage and if there are any issues or any of the new changes again the cycle will be uh, keep rotating in the every area okay and suppose if you talk about dev secops security operation means the security also implemented it each stage of the devops okay that portion also i cover in the later session but here we'll focus on the key action items for individual teams so the development team mainly focus on everything as code that is infrastructure as a code all the layers and when it comes to the operation once the code is deployed released to the production our application operations team will start monitoring the code it's nothing but your application code scanning so before releasing or before sending to the go live your application monitoring will also help to do the code scanning okay and that means even if there are any uh, vulnerabilities found in this code scanning they will send the feedback to the development team again development team will do modification and send back to the operations team so it's a cyclic process okay and another key action item is automate everything automate everything means they try to automate all our day zero day one activities implementation task and also the day two operation task and as part of the automation also it is always like a service improvement plan some organization may have fully automated some organization are still in the middle of automation process some organizations are in a automation just recently started so wherever this uh, customer scenario but this process will be it's completely a cyclic process 
okay and when your automation is uh, everything means developer team always keep working on our day one and day two activities to do automation when they send the in feedback to our the operations team operation team also will validate and immediately they will notify to the deliver team or development team in case of any of the technical glitches so that they will again remodify and send it back to the operations team and another action item is continuous integration ci and cd continuous delivery within the ci and cd we also have continuous development as well and once this process also once relate to the operation team operation team is plan to build that code and uh, build that code or some scenarios it will be rebuilt and rebuilt repair okay and this is also one of the repetitive process and application is always releasable every time and then in our operations team also will always deliver it to the pipeline so this pipeline is like a whatever the stages we talk about in the devops all the stages is released to the based on the pipeline only okay continuous pipeline now we'll talk about what is devops ultimate objective so devops ultimate objective is rapidly delivery of product features and service and another is increase the quality so that is also main important and another is doing more with less and another is align it with business so for example even vmware esxi if you take the example of vmware esxi or microsoft windows patching normally before initially microsoft also released with a windows 2022 software and later on in case of uh, our customer feedback if there are any bugs or product vulnerabilities when we send back the feedback to the microsoft developer team what the developer team will do is they will do some patching they will come up with your latest patch solution like windows 2022 service pack 1 service pack 2 and so on and same way when compare with the esxa also normally initially they will release with esxa 7.0 in case of any product bugs and all when we give the feedback to the development team development team come up with a solution they will add a esxa 7.0 update 1 update 2 and current latest version update 3 is available okay so that means they are increasing the quality and also they are doing the continuous improve enhancements on the product okay and doing more with less even that update when they didn't release the update or service pack from the microsoft even similarly for red hat patching just in case if they stop releasing these patches what will happen every time all the customers how to do they have to fix their self that will be like a more activity or more burden for the customers so instead of doing the more with this uh, solution uh, devops methodology when they're releasing any of the new patches or new uh, new packages or updates and upgrades it will be helpful to do the less work from the customer perspective or operation team perspective okay and align it with business okay this is also same like to aligning the it with our same as our organization business models okay now let's talk about what are the devops key measurements so within the devops key measurements the main key points are development free frequency the common question is normally how often our organization deploy the code so it may be vary from one organization to another organization and another key measurement is change fail rate what percentage of changes result either in degrade the service or subsequently required a remediation same like our patching example and lead time for changes normally how long how long does it take to go from code commit to code successfully running in the production normally if you compare the microsoft windows and red hat linux normally vmware and red hat linux they may release the patches depends on the security vulnerabilities but microsoft they are following the standard practice every month second tuesday they will release the patches okay that is the so the lead time for the changes is monthly ones okay and another scenario that time to restore the service but how fast we can recover so organization normally they maintain a continuous availability on each and every layer hardware layer operating system layer software layer and also the application layers so how long does it generally take to restore the service when a service incident occurs or oh, this is also one of the key measurements in devops okay now let's talk about what are the benefits why my organization should follow the devops practice so to understand that we should know about what are the benefits of devops so the key benefits which includes minimize the time to deliver value and 
to deliver the request in the shortest amount of time possible okay and faster release cycle smaller more frequent release cycles and continuous iterative improvements and reduce the failures and rollbacks and faster resolution and earlier detection of problems when you compare with our previous practice methods waterfall and agile so devops have a have a more key benefits okay and in addition not only limited to this key benefits it there will be a, so many benefits when we work together with the development operation team we also have a, some other key benefits so faster recovery if you start from the left first point stimulated deployment reduce the it cost and minimize the failures and enhance its stability higher quality and continuous product delivery and also faster innovation and increased agility so compared to previous agile, agile methodology here is completely increased agility and aligned ecosystem continuous improvement and expedited sdlc that means software defined life cycle and improved end user experience so customers also have a better experience when compared with the previous practice methodology okay so that's it for today and hope you understand the what is devops and what is the ultimate uh, objective and what is the specific devops key action items and mainly the measurements and benefits of devops okay so that's it for today and thank you if you are watching this video first time please do view like share and subscribe to my gnan cloud garage channel and if you are already subscribed i appreciate all your support bye for now